Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome to this Bushmills uh, Red review. Irish whiskey. You're doing a little Irish whiskey. Yeah. So you got a great deal on this over there on the west bank of the Mississippi River, uh, which is apparently like a liquor drinker's paradise, from what we've discovered. It stop, stop. <laughs> Don't be stupid, man. I mean, come on. Yeah, I picked this up for $9.99. It's red bush. Uh, it's supposedly a little different than black bush. Between black and white. <laughs> and let me see the bottom. I've never had bush mills, but I see it all the time, you know. Bush mills in New Orleans always comes out. Only when the Irish parades are going around. Other than that, nobody really drinks it. They kind of gravitate toward Jameson. It has to do with the Catholic Protestant thing. I don't really understand it. That's a thing in their, in their country. Uh, they send us whiskeys over here. Both of them very, very similar taste. Uh, if I had to pick between the two, I'd gravitate toward a Jameson. Uh, but we're, we're not doing Jameson. We're going to go ahead and, and do a little review on the Bushmills. Okay, uh, so got it at a really good price, so we're going to go ahead and try it. Bourbon casks, okay, old bourbon casks, Ireland's oldest whiskey distillery, 1608. It says uh, triple distilled and um, 80 proof, so it's mild. Finest blended Irish whiskey. Now, uh, it's got a pretty embossed bottle, too. Yeah, you don't see that too off often. bottle, yeah. Kind of like back in the old Coca Cola days, six and a half, 10, 16 ounce bottles. You'd always see some kind of embossment at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, you get the embossment on the side. It's got the company logo, a little story about it, name. Uh, it says 1608 on it. That's pretty damn impressive. Yeah. And we so had a pretty. We're looking at something that's 400 something years old. Yeah. Our they got to know what they're doing. Yeah. Our pastor, who was there for six years, he was from Ireland and he always wanted to drink Jameson. Right. That's what he asked for. So they always gave him Jameson. What do you drink? He never once bring, mentioned bring the bushmills. He'll he'll throw it at you. No, he never said nothing about bushmills. All right, no. so cheers. It's uh yeah light amber. I don't know a thing about bushmills. I just know it's pop. You know it's famous. Ooh, this is smooth. But if I'd have been there this morning at for nine ninety nine, I'd have bought it. You know, I'd have bought that. Yeah, I do believe I did this. Right, but I was 38 miles away, so I wasn't like gonna run, jump in the truck and run over there. Jay, since I'm here, I have ten dollars. It's not that important. All right, it's it's very mild in the nose. There's no like peppery notes, no like heavy wood. It's all mild wood, kind of like what we just drank. But that's Scotland. This is Ireland. Oh, it's got a little alcohol burn, but it's mild. Oh, it's so good. It smells nice, you know. It smells really nice. Let's go with the taste. It's got that little, that little scotchy kind of. People are watching this video. They don't realize your exciting scotchy. purchasing morning that you had. Oh yeah, started at seven a.m. Place opens at seven. Can't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an early bird like me, why not? I was like, what's going on? I was like disoriented by these phone calls. Beat the COVID rush. Oh, well. Well, okay. It's, uh... It's clean. It's sweet. It's a little oak, little bourbon barrel wood on it. Yeah, yeah that's what I got straight from the taste on. Because while you were pontificating, I'm sitting there going, tasting it. And uh, what I did notice yeah, about it is really that it's fun. there is an oakiness going on with it, which is pretty good. It's it's well balanced within the flavor and taste of it. Uh, there's a waterness coming through that we noticed on the scotch that we had. Yeah, like the clean. We, yeah, it's, spring it's, water. Yeah, it's like a cleanness, separation from the alcohol and the whole product itself. Yeah, now Ireland is not a mountainous country. It has a lot of hills, but not really mountains. And um, so you might get that runoff. I'm sure they get a lot of snow in the winter. Um, Maybe it's the same effect that we get with the, with the Kentucky whiskeys and the, and the Tennessees, where it's a shale stone that they water they use. I think it's limestone. 
Or limestone. Yeah, it's now this thing, it it there's no peat, there's no smoke, it's just grain, like a a, a blend it's of grain. Sweet. And it's just really not too light. sweet. Yeah, very light. That's the key. Very the, light. The, the working word here is light. Oh, light, light. I'll tell you what. In America, there's several whiskeys that people chase down. They say, "Oh, this is really good. It's really refined." Yeah, and then they'll it start being, this being and nasty. That, and you're paying sixty, seventy, eighty, hundred dollars for these things. Then they'll start being nasty. And then you get this, <laughs> which has the same effect, the same exact effect that they're looking for. I can well, throw the names out there, but you know yeah, which well, ones they are. I don't want to talk about the effect, but um, no. But what I'm saying, I and mean, this could be, the, it could be the case here that where you drank on it a long time to start to show some nastiness. But this seems so mild that um, I can't see how it would show any nastiness. No, you know, it wouldn't be anything like, oh, I can't stand drinking it anymore. It's like, oh, it's starting to turn on me. Like we were talking about in your kitchen, how. You were drinking a whiskey and enjoying it, and then it started to turn on you a little bit. I don't think this would turn on you. What whiskey was that? Well, uh, it's an American blended whiskey, but you said it started to kind of oh. put you on a bad, oh. bad frame, mind frame, you know, mindset. Oh, that low end. Yeah. Yeah. This is main mainstream. Yeah, this is not that. You know, but um, but even some. Things that are not low end will start to put a little bad, you, you put a little bad reference point on you, you know, mm -hmm. a little framework on you that's not so pleasant. But this one's nice. It seems very mild. I just think. Oh, I got a little yeast and a <laughs> little bread crust there. I think if you like mild products, and I think most of the world does, Bush Mills would be very appropriate because it's so mild, mellow, easy going, smooth. That's the key word. That's the word I was looking for. Right. So this smooth. So smooth. So smooth. And you know, people might say it's dull, it's bland, it's boring. I don't think it's really dull, bland, or boring. I just think So smooth. I think a lot of times people interpret smooth as dull, bland, and boring. And I don't believe that's the right approach. Did I mention that it's so smooth? Yeah. About eight oh, times. I think so. Uh, yeah, I like it. I, I really would buy this. Yeah, I would definitely buy this. Yeah, this is nice. There's a little honeyness going on with it, too. It's, it's, it's sweet, but it's not sugar. It's light and airy like honey is. Uh, when you drink it, it goes down. You get the little oakiness going on. You don't know if it's fresh oak. It tastes like fresh oak to me. Not so much the burn oak that you get from American Bowers. Well, it's charred, but... But it's used I'm not bourbon. Getting, I'm not getting charred. Yeah, but the, the, yeah, but remember, it's used bourbon. So the the bourbon sucks out all the char. So you just get the residual, the old wood, and you know it, it's not going to be so um, oaky. I mean, I'm sorry, it's I'm not going to be I'm so. I'm not going to step on a, a charred. I'm, I'm not willing to step out there and say that that statement's correct. It's definitely correct because it's used bourbon barrels. It's not fresh bourbon. They use bourbon barrels that might have been used 25, 30 times. One thing I noticed on this product, Bushmills does? Well, all the Scotch and Irish companies, all oh, the Scotch, Irish. Do, do you notice that there's like a little, I, we say it was honey, but do you notice that it seems to be like graham cracker? Mm-mm. No. Yeah, like graham cracker, like. No. <laughs> yeah. With the, yeah, with the no. spice. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's graham cracker. <laughs> I think it's honey. But almost like honeycomb. What do you but see not, on the uh, label sweet. of graham? What do you see on the label of graham cracker? It's like a guy with a stick, and he's got the thing, and he's got like honey on it. Get it? Graham cracker, honey, spice, cinnamon. It kind of works together, but no cinnamon. I'm not saying that. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so les les bon temps relay. I'm gonna score it. Um, probably say about a 94. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give this like a 96. This is delicious, 100%. Um, Red Bush, never had it before. I'm happy with it. Yeah, for that price, it's like 150. <laughs> it's like 150 over 100 for that price. And we're going to end this review by saying, Lazy Le Bon Temps Relay, y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana.